Welcome to our channel. For more information about type 2 diabetes click the first link in the description. Nutrition plays a very important role in controlling type 2 diabetes. This is why patients with this disease should be counseled for adequate nutritional treatment. Nutritional treatment plays an important role in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. While it is true that many factors affect the development of this disease, a good diet is essential to control it and avoid related complications. What should you know about this? What is type 2 diabetes? Diabetes mellitus is a chronic metabolic disorder that manifests as higher than recommended glucose levels in the blood. In the specific case of type 2 diabetes, the body stops using insulin correctly. The latter is a hormone produced by the pancreas. Its function is to help glucose enter cells and be used for energy. Among the risk factors for developing this pathology, we find having a family history of diabetes mellitus, age, suffering from obesity and physical inactivity. In fact, it is common that people who have type 2 diabetes are also obese or overweight. In these patients, reducing energy in the diet, while maintaining an adequate and healthy intake of nutrients in meals, is beneficial in promoting weight loss. Losing weight could translate into benefits, both in terms of glycemic control and blood pressure. Nutritional treatment in type 2 diabetes given that there is no ideal regimen for all patients, nor a percentage of macronutrients that can be used generally, according to current evidence, the most recommended treatment would be a diet and diet plan. Physical activity indicated by a professional. This is what a study published in the journal BMJ claims. According to the latest consensus of the American Diabetes Association, ADA, the goals of nutritional treatment should be improve glycated hemoglobin parameters, reduce hypertension and cholesterol levels, achieve and maintain a healthy weight. Here, patient adherence and change in habits are important. Prevent complications. Therefore, one of the points that one must take into account, once the disease is diagnosed, is the dietary factor. Carbohydrates. Whole grain fruits, vegetables, legumes and cereals. These foods should be the primary source of carbohydrate in any healthy diet, but especially for these patients. Since they are partly made of fiber, they enter the bloodstream more slowly. There are therefore no spikes in blood sugar. In addition, they increase the feeling of fullness, which helps in weight control. According to a study published in the journal Nutrients, consuming fiber appears to have a beneficial effect on serum cholesterol levels and other causes of cardiovascular risk like hypertension. Therefore, consuming around 26 grams per day in women and 28 grams per day in men is also recommended for people with type 2 diabetes. This is not what happens with foods rich in simple carbohydrates, such as processed pastries, sweets, juices, etc. These foods are devoid of fiber and therefore have a greater impact on blood sugar. The consumption of whole grain cereals, cereals which retain their three parts, germ, bran and endosperm, also called whole grains, has been studied. Although there is insufficient evidence to support better glycemic control with their consumption, it has been linked to decreased systemic inflammation and mortality. Non-calorie sweeteners. Although studies claim that non-caloric sweeteners like saccharin or stevia do not affect blood sugar function, many foods that contain them may well affect it because of the ingredients used in making the product. If used as a substitute for sugar, they may be beneficial in reducing the consumption of sucrose or table sugar. However, more studies are needed to confirm this point. Other foods. Regarding the rest of the foods, the recommendations would be the same as for the general population. In the case of proteins, they must also be individualized. The recommendations are however the same as for the rest of the people. In fact, the ingestion of high biological value proteins could be linked to an improvement in the response to insulin, without increasing plasma glucose levels. In the case of fat, it is the same as for protein. The evidence suggests that it is not their quantity that matters, but their quality. We should increase the consumption of good quality fats, seeds, avocados, oily fish, etc., and decrease those of lower quality. These exist in processed meats and pre-cooked foods, among others. Other recommendations for nutritional treatment in type 2 diabetes include 
Choose healthy dishes in which carbohydrates have a low glycemic index. Control foods high in trans fats and saturated because of their relation to increased dyslipidemias. In the case of fish, and especially blue fish, the recommendation is the same as for people without diabetes. In view of their omega-3 acid content, it is recommended to eat fatty fish at least twice a week. To reduce the risk of dyslipidemia, it is also advisable to consume foods rich in sterols, normally fortified, always as part of a healthy diet. Moderate consumption of dairy products, especially fermented products, like yogurt and cheese, appears to be beneficial in the control and prevention of type 2 diabetes. Tips for nutritional treatment in type 2 diabetes. Since many patients with type 2 diabetes are overweight or obese, a proper nutritional plan, along with exercise, is vitally important for weight loss and reducing the risk of complications. In general, some tips that one should take into account are Distribute meals using fresh, healthy foods. The preferences and characteristics of the patient should always be taken into account. Reduce the consumption of specific foods for people with diabetes. They are generally low in fiber and high in poor quality fat. They cannot therefore be considered as healthy foods. We can only consume them on an ad hoc basis. Reduce free sugars such as table sugar, sucrose, and foods rich in sugars, cakes, industrial pastries, sweets, ice cream, sweet cereals for breakfast, juice, but also prepared dishes and sauces, etc. Indeed, in addition to containing a large amount of sugar, they are rich in trans fats, saturated and salt. Instead, it's best to learn how to make our own recipes. This helps eliminate or replace sugar with other foods. For example, sweeten with fruit. In people taking insulin, Emphasis should be placed on nutrition education to balance the insulin dose with the carbohydrate intake. It is important to avoid alcohol because in these patients it can increase the risk of developing hypoglycemia, especially if they are treated with insulin. In the case of salt, the recommendation for the general population also applies to patients with diabetes. Special attention should also be paid to those who also suffer from hypertension. In the latter case, the salt consumption should be reduced as much as possible. Instead, other flavors such as spices should be used. Ultimately, type 2 diabetes can be controlled with good nutrition. Nutritional treatment for patients with type 2 diabetes should be individualized. It depends on the characteristics of each. However, in general, certain standards must be applied. For example, choosing a good source of carbohydrates or even exclude sources of sugars and trans fats, moderate the total intake of calories.